Then I says to her, I says, Meow. <laughs> Stephanie was like, look at yourself. <laughs> Just look at yourself. And I was like, what? The garbage truck. We got to get it. Well, let's hold hands. All right. All right. On the phone, and it turns out we have met before that I didn't remember. Well, yeah, years ago, about 18 years ago, I had just moved to Los Angeles, and your ex girlfriend had hired me to bartend her private graduation at this little Frida's coffee shop. No. Do you remember that night? No. Okay. <laughs> it, it happened, and uh, I had to wear a bow tie. And, uh, and serve alcohol. And uh, you came up and, and she introduced us and said, oh yeah, you guys, your families know each other. And, and you're like, oh, cool. And, uh, and then I was like, all right, see you in 18 years. Yeah. So. <laughs> and you were right. It's yeah. weird you'd say that. Yeah. But I'm so glad that I know you now. Yeah. And I could just drive by your house and honk. And... Well, I was going to say, are we going to ignore what happened this morning? No, we, you can talk about it. Well, uh, after Ellen. Uh, called me, uh, we've kept in touch texting, and, uh, and I realized that the show tapes right around the corner from my house. So I was like, hey, I just realized I live right around the corner from you, uh, where, you where you tape your show. Do you mind just swing, swinging by on the morning of the taping and just honk and say hello? And she said, I sure will. And so this morning, a honk for about a minute. <laughs> The plan was to go up to the window and wave with my new little kitten, but my cat <laughs> and girlfriend ran out of the room, um, horrified, standing yeah. under the cabinet. And I felt so terrible about that that I would scare an animal. It, I just thought it would be funnier. You said honk, so I just thought if I just lay on the horn, it would be funnier. It was funny. Yeah. Just my cat wasn't amused no. at all. And Tell, tell Fluff I'm, I'm very sorry. I will. Yes. You can. Uh, 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 Fluffy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, I Fluffy. I don't even know if that's the camera. I though. know we have to go to break. Um, it is. It's the one that's lit right there. Oh, hi, Fluff. Uh, <laughs> this first one is from Alyssa from Calabasas, California. My husband and I. Here she is now, your host, Tignataro. What's going on? What's Thank going you. on? Thank you. Hey, it's great to be here. Tig, what are you doing? Uh, I'm sorry, everyone. This is kind of awkward. Uh, Ellen, I'm taping my new talk show. You don't have a talk. I. This is my show. You don't have a talk show. Uh, this is the pilot. Your skybox is empty, so I decided to shoot it here in front of a live audience. Where, where did you get that audience? Uh, from your riffraff room. <laughs> you may call them riffraff, but to me, they're more than that. <laughs> Tig, stop, please. I, I'm in the middle of my segment, What's Wrong With These Photos, Photos. Uh, that sounds a lot like my segment called uh, Tig's Pictures That Aren't Quite Right Right. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to see some funny pictures? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Look at this is an Indian restaurant <laughs> called Anu's Kitchen. But on the sign, it looks like anus. <laughs> Tig, you stole that segment. That's my segment that I have. Now I can't even finish my segment. I'm going to get to our game. Uh, I was going to play a game with my audience, but let's see how yours goes. OK, Tig, thanks for your support. Well, I can't think of a better birthday present than to have my hilarious friend perform stand-up for us today. Please welcome back Tig Notaro. A couple of years ago, my wife and I uh, adopted a precious little kitten named Fluff. That's her uh, given name. And uh, we kept it out of respect for her birth parents. And. Um, <laughs> I realized the other day in the living room that I had never meowed at her. And I was like, oh my god, I'm going to totally meow at Fluff. <laughs> and so I looked at her, and I says to her, I says, meow. 
And she was like, no way. How is this just now coming up? <laughs> she was stunned, just with her little kitten stunned face. And she says back to me, she says, meow. <laughs> then I says to her, I says, meow. <laughs> we are going back and forth, having the time of our lives. And then Stephanie leans out of the kitchen and says, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, what, what are you talking about? I wouldn't do that. You don't know what you're saying to her. <laughs> you could be saying something rude or inappropriate. No, I feel confident we both just agreed that you're insane. What are they into besides Spanish? What are they doing? Uh, only garbage trucks. They are obsessed with garbage Real trucks. Gar well, like when the garbage man comes down oh, the street? Oh, yes, and uh, trash cans and garbage. Their second birthday's coming up, and uh, I think we're going to have a garbage-themed party. <laughs> uh, I want to see if I can get a trash can pinata made. Um, and my stepfather was like, Tig, why don't you charter a garbage truck? He was like, you know, people charter trucks, or I mean, uh, ships and planes, you know, get a garbage truck to come over. Um, and then I was thinking of maybe even, we're friends with all the garbage uh, men in the neighborhood, and so um, I was thinking of paying one to just come in the back fence and just toss some garbage <laughs> in the backyard. Just, you know, Max and Finn would lose their minds. So. What, how did this happen? What, what made them start becoming <laughs> interested in garbage? <laughs> um, I, 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 we're terrible parents. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, um, so at least they have an interest. Some people don't have interest. <laughs> that's, you, you know, you've got a point. Yeah, you do it's, have it's a point. It's nice to have a passion. No yeah, it is. it is. No matter what it is. All right. So, Tim, and I have to say, I w this is. <laughs> we were. We take a walk every morning, and uh, I was. You know, my hair was just off in every direction. I was in slippers and. And then I saw a garbage truck go by, and I was like, a garbage truck! And I just started pushing the babies at like 50 miles an hour up the hill. And Stephanie was like, look at yourself! <laughs> just look at yourself! And I was like, what? The garbage truck! We gotta get it! I mean, it's, you know, uh, oh. it's now my passion. Yeah, so. well. <laughs> so Max and Finn, let's get back to them. They're oh, adorable. Yeah. And they're, they're almost three, and, uh, I, I assume they sleep through the night at three. Um, they do now. There was this, and they did even when they were little. Um, and then there was this terrible phase that they went through. Um, I think I was working on your special when this was happening. They were getting, they thought three in the morning was, they were like, hmm, time to get up. And they would just start their day. And our wind, oh, this is a different day. This, uh, this is when, they woke us up with tambourines. <laughs> and I knew we had one tambourine. I had no idea we had two. <laughs> and I, I told... <laughs> <laughs> and I told Step... How... I, what is wrong with you two that you allow that? I, I told Stephanie that it seemed like we were in a really hacky sitcom. Yeah. When the babies came walking in with tambourines. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's insane that they wake up at 3 a.m. They don't anymore, but when they did, like I said, we'd go downstairs and they'd run around the couch blaring the music, and our windows are set up in a way where you can't see too low. So if anybody was walking by our house <laughs> at 3 in the morning, <laughs> they would just see me and Stephanie running around the couch <laughs> uh, to music blaring. Uh, but the leaders of the parade are, you know, this tall. That's hilarious. And, uh, yeah. That's hilarious. And, and they love to chase garbage trucks, too. Yeah. They've so, moved on to fire trucks. They oh, OK, good. That's better than now. garbage trucks. Now, obviously, all of you are lucky enough to, to be here. You got tickets. And that, that means you can shop here in the Ellen Shop, which is a whole lot of fun to do before and after the show. But everything we sell in the Ellen Shop is also available online. And we have some new items. We have this really cool camouflage Ellen underwear. And Here she is now, your host, Tignataro. Not this again. Hey, Tig. Tig. Uh, thank you. I'm Tig Notaro. Welcome to the Tig Notaro Show. <laughs> Tig, what are you doing? Uh, <laughs> oh no, not this again. 
Uh, Ellen, your skybox is empty, so I'm using it to tape the second episode of my hit daily talk show. Hit daily talk show? This is, you, you only did one. And it was a long time ago. Uh, yeah, we were on hiatus. All right, well, this is my show, so you and the mustache man playing the, the keyboard can uh, get out of here. Uh, mustache guy? He has a name, Ellen. I'm sorry, what is his name? I don't know what it is, but he has one. Uh, now, could you keep it down? Uh, I want to tell my audience about some new items in the TIG shop. You have a TIG shop? What do you mean, the TIG shop? Well, <laughs> we sell TIG underwear. OK. Here that is not fair. That, that's not OK. It, underwear is my thing. Everyone wears underwear, Ellen. And next, we have tequila. <laughs> OK, well, yeah, that's, that's fine and good. But you cannot, I don't think it's legal to sell uh, tequila to your, or alcohol of any sort to your audience. Oh, I'm not selling it. I'm giving it away to my audience. Look under your seats. You get tequila. You get tequila. You get tequila. Yeah. OK, that's wonderful. You're going to have to leave, because uh, I need to bring Emma Stone out. Uh, uh, Emma, Emma Stone. <laughs> you get tequila. You get tequila. You have to stop, because I have to bring Emma Thompson out. <laughs> Not if I bring her up first. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emma Thompson. Okay. I'm so excited to have you I'm here. I'm so excited to be here. How Mustache Guy you know, is a huge you? fan of yours. Oh, he's so lovely. Emma, Emma, what are you doing up there? Um, Who are you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what? I'll tell you what Emma's doing. She's going to join me in one of my signature dances. Yes. Take us to break, mustache guy. <laughs> yeah, that's a great song. I love that song. Yeah. I'm Liking Tim Kataro Show. We'll be back. <laughs>